weirdly goofy being into Reaganomics. And like the, uh, recently, for example, Mitch McConnell said he he is done with the leadership of the Senate. He's stepping down. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard. Uh, and he was like, he was like, this is not the Republican Party of the Reagan era. Oh, of course. And then, I don't know. That just, that just more, feels Mitch. so relevant now. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking My blow. allotment of children to eat has been lower than ever. <laughs> Reagan oh, yeah. never would have had it like this. <laughs> Reagan Big had rinse, me though. ten children a day. He is, Meaty he... little children. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Anything Cast, by the way. I'm Patrick. Oh, I'm Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> and I am the Grim Reaper about to take. <laughs> you'll Damn never it. get me. <laughs> I'll keep eating children and, you, and injecting. You'll pause for 40 minutes one more time. <laughs> And I'll get you. <laughs> and injecting adrenochrome. Has anyone, uh, has anyone like photoshopped the Grim Reaper behind Mitch McConnell when he's like all frozen? I think frozen so. Up? I think I've sure seen a could picture Google of it, that. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, dude, that rules. <laughs> uh, we just got what uh, done watching one of Walt Bismarck's uh, famous oh, uh, music Christ. video. Uh, we watched uh, in the GOP, and then while Eric was out smoking a cigarette, we watched IQ Test. Yeah, they are mm. uh, weirdly high quality. Yeah, it's um. If you don't know who Walt Bismarck is, he was famous on YouTube. Don't look him up. Do, yeah, don't like don't give him more. Yeah, do not give him attention. Yeah, don't give him attention. Don't give him money, especially. I don't know what whatever he does and makes money off of this, he doesn't deserve it. Doesn't I can't but, help but notice he has to have his own website here. Yes. Like, absolutely. You cannot find them otherwise. Yeah. Well, I, it took me forever to find any of these and I had to find it here and then look the up. The only one you can find on, on <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. You it's on BitChute. Be, Most of, they're all on BitChute. That's the only place you can find them. If that I tells guess we already you. said, did we say the names already? Walt Bismarck? No, yeah. I guess you can yeah. find it if you care. Yeah, but yeah. You if, you, if you care... Uh, how many views has this got? 4,000. I mean, like... Do not add. He's got a Pepe as a profile picture, all right? Like, don't don't give this man any attention. If you know any of the words that we've been throwing out lately, these yeah. should all be red flags. He is a um, he's an extremist alt-right uh, guy. He's who, a big fan of free speech. Yeah, he's a big <laughs> fan of... I, I guarantee he's a fan of Elon. I bet he's a big fan of states' rights. Yeah, I'm a big he's fan of... He's a big of, fan of states' rights. I'm a big fan of free speech and states' what rights, he's not but a I fan of that. is northern aggression. Uh, I, yes. I don't say that shit out loud because the people who do... I mm, Who are into states' rights? Yeah, like the people who constantly spout free speech generally are just like, I want to say... I want to say the... N yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's like... Yeah, it's just like, bro. Yeah. Like, that's why Mississippi has fighting words laws. Do you know that? <laughs> uh, we still have them to this day. If them you say something, words. yeah. Mm. If you say something that is considered demeaning enough to someone's character to their face to where it actually is can incite an argument that might end <sighs> in violence, then you are breaking the law by inciting violence using fighting words. Yeah. Good luck proving that shit in court, though. Especially yeah, if like, you're black. Especially <laughs> if you're black. Yeah, those courts, you know, notoriously fair to black people. Yes. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I kind of like that as a law. I mean, it's well, hard as shit to prove, but... I mean, it... The only way that that would work would be similar to where it would work in a state that didn't have that law, where, like, they were just, like, making crazy threats the entire time or something. Like, yeah, basically. I feel like harassment. that should just be covered yeah. under... Assault. Yeah. yeah, it's just like assault and harassment, like... That's that's what fighting words would be these days. Would just be assault and harassment. At the time, it was meant to be like if you call someone's wife a whore. It just to their seems face. like an anti yeah, I mean, law. You, sh you still shouldn't go up to someone in the grocery store and call their wife a whore to their face. But in all fairness, that shouldn't start a gunfight. Not necessarily, but I will tell you that um, if you have two black eyes and are missing a tooth. Um, the police are not going to write down your side of the story after they suss out everything that happened. They're not going to be too surprised after you explain yeah, what like, you did. They're not going to like. You're, you're, good luck charging that guy with assault afterwards because well, we, we no hope they one's are gonna, because like, the DA is going to need all the information they they can get. And well, that's the thing. Like, you know, if if you if you go around, uh, well. Yeah, fuck we, around we, and find we hope, out. We hope that everyone is acts very professional once this incident fuck around occurs. Not in Trump's out. America, fellow. <laughs> Not in Trump's America. He's going to oh, fix that. Oh, did you see that. that he lost D.C.? He lost the primary in D.C.? Oh, did he? Yeah. I That's saw that good. he um he got... Uh, he the, the Supreme Court today, I guess, is Yeah, they said they the couldn't bar him in Colorado. Yeah, yeah they, they said Colorado could not bar him, but, the Supreme, but Congress could, basically. 
They were like, all right, it's yeah. not down to a state to decide if a someone can run for a federal ba- office. Basically, they said that Congress can control the federal office stuff, states control state office stuff. Yeah, which makes a kind of makes sense. sense. It I'll, makes I'll hand them sense, that. but at the same time, fuck, he's That's- an insurrectionist. And Congress can vote on that. And and Colorado proved it, like, via the law. Did they? Yes. I, I, I liked that their whole argument during that was not that he was not an insurrectionist, but that he was not someone who held an office of the United States. <laughs> I love that. I loved listening to that court thing and then being like, wait, they haven't said one thing about, like, well, he didn't actually commit insurrection. Yeah, they basically... That wasn't even their argument. Yes. <laughs> they, they did <laughs> not argue against him being just an like, insurrectionist. They were like, no, actually, he just wasn't in the off- yeah, in an office. They they did not even put yeah, up an argument. That was, uh, I believe that was the concern of the insurrectionists, in yeah, fact, yeah, uh, yeah. that he was not in office. Yeah, that, that he wasn't was, in office. Uh, uh, and that might have been what they were mad at, actually. Might, might have been. Maybe. Maybe a little bit of what they were mad about. He mm-hmm. said, uh, if I recall, you got a better fight like hell or you won't have yeah, a country it, anymore. It, it sucks because like, I was listening to someone who was like, uh, they, someone was asking him, you know, what would it take for, you know, you to get get away from Biden, right? And he was like, listen, I'm not riding. And I feel the same. I'm like, I'm not riding with Biden. But my other option is like a Mussolini fascist like type fella. Mm. You know, it would like at least Biden's a democracy guy. Do you guys ever <laughs> consider becoming like a Mormon or something or like one of those uh, like? No, I didn't get the chance. You, yeah, you think no. so? If you had gotten the chance, though, I you think studied you would have been uh, like, oh, nah, just because I know they're a cult. Seven wives, Will. I studied local <laughs> Christianity. Uh, Is that like when I'm alive or dead? Well, I mean, really. When you're dead, you get your own planet. That's Mormonism. When you're dead, you what? get your own planet. If I get the wives while I'm alive, I'll consider Yeah, it you get like, seven lives. They're all blonde-headed, toe-headed, in Utah, beautiful do white I have to women. Go to Mexico? Uh, you can do it in Utah. It'll be fine. Okay. You live near Salt Lake City. You grow up outside of Salt Lake City, and then somebody comes to you and is like, hey, man, the rest of us in Salt Lake, we're doing a pretty sweet thing. Bro, I don't know how long <laughs> it's been since... In this shit. I don't know how long it's been since you had a fucking girlfriend, but the idea yeah. of seven wives sounds like an absolute objective fucking nightmare. Well, I mean, they're I just, just like, like hair un- anime. Yeah. unless I was able to like, like the only way that that would be <laughs> Will even gets like say kind into Salt Lake City. <laughs> yeah. the, the only way that would be remotely tenable is if you were able to be just like the ultimate misogynist and just like treat them all like slaves. Yeah, like a Mormon. Yeah, like yeah. that's it. <laughs> like if you were like, a Mormon. Otherwise, if you were to try and actually have a relationship with seven women romantically at the same time, well, what uh, about coitus with seven women at the same time? Yeah, what about coitus with seven women? Well, unless you have seven dicks, which then I, you're wait, just you fucking don't? one woman and then fucking another He's woman. He's not Mormon. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. You got to convert first before you get those seven <laughs> dicks. Yeah. That's uh, that's part of the perks. Did you know that when you die, you get a planet when you're Mormon? Uh, I've never I've heard, heard that. something about it. Yeah, when you die, you get your very own planet to be god of. I know the extremist Muslims have the whole seventy-two virgins why'd thing. You, but why'd that's, you that's why'd you slouch it. over and give me like bedroom eyes? <laughs> yeah, maybe like late night television show. Yeah, this is <laughs> like what was that? Uh, I mean, I this is like we, we've seen this before. Yeah. You know, the whole God promises you pussy thing. Yeah, it's like the prosperity gospel for perverts. It's it's it bullshit. would have worked on me. It like, would have that would have one hundred if if they told me if I threw that plane into that building <laughs> that I would have gotten virgins pussy for yeah, day, if I, for, yeah, forever forever permanent pussy. Like I mean, a, if I was like thirteen years a old, bitch like is the only guys a virgin did, once, and I got to be completely honest, there's nothing especially satisfying about virgin pussy as opposed to fucking. Ben I'm gonna Frank, have to ask. I'm experience gonna have to ask to get off pussy. Would yeah, I'm he, gonna have to ask. Be like, experience pussy, pussy is the best, is the best pussy. pussy. Thank yeah, you very Franklin much. He also said say. French pussy was the best pussy. We French all know that's the most not experienced toes. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, we all know that's not true. Do you guys know when the last bayonet charge was? Uh, I believe it was charge. during. You know, uh, Eric's ass is gonna know this shit, and I'm gonna be like, it was in Greece. Fallujah. In Fallujah, you think? Vietnam? I think it was somewhere around there. I know that there was a time recently. Uh, it might not have actually been a full-on charge, but there was a point where a bunch of Marines, because of course it was the Marines, ah, you're close, ran out of ammo, and they were just like, "Affix bayonets, boys." You're close, but you're then close. they got saved by like some local guys. No, so um, that might have happened, but no. What? Uh, so for the U.S., the last bayonet charge it was, was in the Marines, 1951. Gotcha. Now, 
Korea. The actual last uh, recent bayonet charge was done by the British in 2004. Um, and I was interested, so I learned the story. And uh, Tally-ho, gentlemen! Yeah, so in 2004, bayonets. the Prince of Wales Royal Regiment <laughs> was on the way... It was like 20 dudes on the way to uh, to back up their uh, uh, the Scottish regiment, two Scottish regiments, the um, Sutherland and the... Uh, you don't have to remember their names, Will. Uh, Just tell the fucking story. The, uh, Make up some names. They're and the, the Cookie Mc- Monster and Big Bird. And the, w- <laughs> the, w- the Whack Donalds. Yeah, Whack Donalds the Wack came Donald. to and, support uh, the anyways, Cookie Monster and Big Bird. They were being ambushed by like 100 militiamen. Were sure. they Muslim? Uh, yeah, of the Sadar Mahadi army. You okay. don't know that they were Muslim. They could have been Sikhs or Hindus. You they don't know Shia, enough about them. I believe. You don't. So they were Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Yeah. yeah I'm as, far, as far as I know. A bunch of Oscar the Grouches. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so we're <laughs> ambushing. On, on the way. Ernie. Yeah, and they and were Big ambushing, Bird was coming They were ambushing <laughs> a bunch of Scottish dudes. Okay. And uh, and so the the Prince of Wales Royal Regiment was on the way in two light cover uh, Humvees or trucks or whatever. Sure. And uh, they hit an I, they hit an ID takes out both vehicles. Uh, so miraculously, everyone's okay. That happens. But from about three football fields over, uh, the like thirty more militiamen start firing rockets, mortars, and, and small arm fire at these guys. So they get out of their trucks and they're like set up in perimeter and they're shooting at these guys, but it's not really working because they're like three football fields away. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so <clears throat> a Sergeant Falconer decides, fuck this shit, fix bayonets. And him and six other, uh, six other, I think they're Marines, like Royal, Royal Marines. Marines. Yeah. Uh, they then charged 600, uh, 600 feet dodging gunfire and like occasionally like <laughs> only being support like I think he told like his men to give their extra ammo to his other squad and as they're like the kind of supporting fire. them suppressive yeah fire. they they charge the 600 feet uh and uh for 3 hours engage in a close CQC fight uh where they killed 28 militiamen Jesus Christ 3 hours and guess what here's the other yeah 3 hour fight guess what None of them died. Jesus Christ. They had like three wounded. And after that, they got packed up their shit and left and still saved or still helped their friends get gaining 30 more kills. <laughs> Fucking three hours of CQC fight, you'd like, like most human beings. I mean, like even trained yeah, soldiers that's, that's are going to fall over. Yeah, they won the uh, military cross, I believe. I don't fucking doubt that. Give them every award ever made. <laughs> Give them a uh, it's legion. It's hard to exercise for that long. More or less, try not to be killed and by people actively trying to kill you. And imagine killing 28 fucking guys on top of that. I'm trying to think With of one knife medieval... mounted onto a fucking... I'm sure like, some of those were their friends like shooting shooting them, but yeah. I'm yeah. sure, but like, yeah, but like they affixed bayonets and you're not affixing it onto like a fucking, you know, an Enfield... Yeah, it's You're a short ass little bull pup onto the end of like a what's bull little, pup or a <laughs> yeah. fucking uh, shit. What's it like an FN FAL or some shit like oh, that? Yeah. Like even it, old <clears throat> fights, like Greek fights, when people went out with a sword and a shield, they'd fight for like ten minutes and then they'd pull them back because they'd be fucking exhausted. Yeah, and then they'd send out the next wave. Yeah, yeah because it's exhausting. For three hours. For three hours, you mm. in total it was I think like a five. What did it look like fight? the end of Naruto when they were done, where they just barely <laughs> like just <laughs> hitting each other and falling no, over? It's like the end of Metal Gear Solid Four. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They're kissing two, them on the two cheek. men slow. <laughs> two old men slowly beating each other to death. Exactly. Brother. Brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. The reason I forgot the reason they uh, they had to charge uh, the reason he made that decision was they were going to radio for like air, air support I'm sure and they found out the radio just didn't work. Ah, Jesus! All right, time to bayonet charge. I guess yeah. I don't know. That's fucking cool, but at the same time, I like could they not have just held the sustaining fire for a little bit and then just they were running low on ammo? I was about to say, you don't have infinite ammo, man. Yeah, but neither does the other side, right? They were they, they had rockets, mortars, and a trench in an entrenched position. Yeah, okay, they drove they, yeah, up they there with fucked. like Humvees. They might have a literal shed filled what with nothing but boxes of ammo. What amazes me is none of them fucking ammo. died. 
I mean, if they fought for three hours, yeah, I these mean, militias like, really need to step up their fucking game. <laughs> yeah, what is with the admit. fucking Muslim militia? What's their fucking problem? Yeah, like, wh- what happened? Like, in the medieval times, they were kicking I ass. I thought they were good at cutting people's heads off. That's their whole the thing. The entire Muslim world was doing great politically and militarily until up about the, the 1300s. 1950s or so. 1950s? What, what the fuck are you yeah, talking about? The, I'm talking uh, about, like, the fucking caliphate. Know about the no, Ottoman the, Empire? No, not even that. The Ottoman the, uh, Empire the fucking didn't start losing power until, Arab like, the Spring, 1900s. Arab Spring, or whatever it was called. Arab Spring, when like all when the revolutions the, happened. Yeah, and the Europeans fucking carved up the Middle East and, you know, put arbitrary lines in the sand Did right the in Ottoman between Empire civilizations. Did the Ottoman Empire last that long? It lasted The Ottoman a while. Empire was involved in World War One. I knew that, but like I thought all... it was like the tiniest, littlest Ottoman. Oh, Empire. I mean, they were. No. It was mostly Turkey, and like, I mean, after World War One, they got fucked. Yeah, like that was when they lost all their last big tracts of land. Like they weren't at their prime anymore during World War One. Yeah, I. but their prime was like the 1400s, right? When they yeah, right, when they and well, when they the took Ottoman over Empire Byzantine. took over Constantinople, that was like their peak. Because yeah. they basically toppled old Rome. So you said point. like they last until like the 1950s. Like no, they fucking didn't. I mean, like they were on paper until the 1950s, but I wouldn't consider I mean, that lasting. I mean, Rome technically, lasted till 1459. It still exists. They just named it a different thing. It's no, they didn't. There. Rome still exists oh, as that's Rome. True. It's the Vatican. It's just not Vatican owned City. by the old Roman government anymore. It's owned by a bunch of Christian usurpers. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> get, get fucked, Rome. <laughs> How's it feel? That's what's going to happen to no, America, no, no. man. Rome the is where you go to it. fuck the kids. Remember? That's the, that's and the, the Vatican will cover it up for you. Yeah. yeah they'll, they'll send you to a new church to fuck you gotta kids. You got to go to the Pope and you got to like give him the secret code and it's like little, the Mickey little, Mouse treatment. All right, now imagine a thousand on the tip of his years. Purple old dick. Imagine a thousand years. Actually, Chinese, did you hear that? Uh, the, uh, the most, what's the most recent Pope's name? Francis? I don't fucking know. Anyways, the most recent Pope was like, we should get along with the Marxist. Yeah, like we, yeah. we should hear them out. You talked about this on the um, Maxor episode. I, I mean, I don't hilarious. think that, uh, you know, I think Christians is like your general job is to be like Amicable. accepting of others and to try and be good to your neighbors, regardless of whether or not they believe the same as you. Like Jesus, who hung out with the lepers and the whores and whatnot. You're not supposed to avoid people who believe different from you. You're supposed to sh- lead by example and show people that being a Christian makes you a good person and that clean living is leading you to having a better life. I'm still thinking about like, Chinese Mississippi in a thousand years. After China <laughs> takes over all of America, <laughs> and it's just a bunch of We're like cultured I Chinese men. I sincerely do not give a fuck. They're uh, they've like, like mixed. What do, you, the, what do you think Mississippi? What do you think <clears throat> the Mississippi of China is like? They're gonna be out there with the dancing dragon dude, but it's gonna be the fucking Dixie flag. I imagine. Gonna, you think there's like three jackass Chinese guys right now just sitting together doing a <laughs> podcast? <laughs> Probably yeah, there are, dude. I mean, it's no different from when I, you know, visited fucking, you know, Mexico and Jamaica. Bro, I'm from Mississippi. Third world countries just look like my neighborhood. Yeah, like, I people do, try yeah, and talk, I know. talk shit, and I'm just like, I. yeah, we're not, like, yeah, we're pretty poor here in Mississippi, but, like, I don't feel like I live in a shithole. Our government shit also barely does anything. Exactly. Right, like, I... Yeah, and they do, but then I feel like it doesn't look different here. At least we're not Haiti. Like, we're not war torn. At least yeah. we're not Haiti. Oh, Haiti is a failed state. That yeah. place completely fell apart. It, basically, um, we're just not war torn. If we were war torn, we would effectively be every uh, like third world shithole that people post and are like, oh, at least you don't yeah. live in this. We're like one. I, I would say we're like a step above becoming um, Somalia. Ooh, becoming I, Somalia? I think. We're like, we're like a little more. We're a little more organized. Little that's bit that's more what than, helps us. A little bit more than Somalia. I feel like I need bit. to know more about Somalia, but that does not sound right to yeah, me. Yeah, we're I, one step above like Brazil. I don't know about that. All the Brazilians in the comments <laughs> sound off. <laughs> Tell them about how bad Brazil is. Yo, yo, Brazil! Yo, Brazil! Speaking know. that Portuguese. We, we are literally like one or two steps above Mexico. A lot of you are I feel very like pretty. The Brazil government does stuff though. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. do. They fill Thank their God own pockets. our government doesn't do stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my oh, God. God. Imagine if our politicians were greedy and corrupt like they are in Mexico and Brazil and Colombia and the UK and Russia and no, don't China even. and India and Pakistan and oh, Turkey yeah, and Yeah, like the those UK places that France. have governments governed by people. Yeah. <laughs> those. Those governments. The, what do you think, do you like think is the least corrupt democratic state on the planet? I don't believe that that's a valid question. 
You don't think so? No. I. It has to be like somewhere. I think somewhere. it's only how much you can uncover. Oh, I'd agree with that. I mean, like, yeah, I of mean, course. if I had to just give it, like, gun to my head, I had Sweden. to give it to somebody. Like, someone like that who's just got a really... Yeah, like... It's somebody it's who's weird just that got really Danish clean. Thing. We all thought, like, it's the Danes. It has to be. Well, okay, but the Swiss are... The Swiss. Mid... European Germanic folk. Okay, mm, I thought they were all not. Danish. Yeah, get it right, you fucking uncultured. I'm sorry, swine. I'm racist. I don't know anything about the Danish. Look, the, the Danish is that. Little I know they thumb. make a delicious little fucking little, this little thing they sell at the Starbucks. It's delicious. A little Danish. Norway and Sweden, and then you've got. Uh, got my brain's blanking here. I was like Daneland. Like <laughs> no, no, like wait, Denmark. Look in the Alpine. Yeah, and you Denmark, know. then Sweden, and then you can kind of add uh, Finland over here. Who's like part Russian? Yeah, part I know where the geography is. I know all the geography of it. I can see it in my head. over here, like next to Austria and the yes. mountains. Yeah, the Swiss it Alps. used to be. Um, it used to be. Uh, uh I almost they said make Bulgaria. hot chocolate. And they have they used uh, to be required military service for all of their citizens. Yeah, they used to be Burgundy. I've seen like their way videos. Back when. It didn't seem that hard. Mm, no, the, the, well, that's because that's the mandatory service. Obviously, the mandatory service is like doing a two-year stint in the National Guard. I mean, it's military service, so you'll get a lot of good out of it. Wait, like, as, as far Americans, as training and shit. But do like, we just not hear about any good political anything? As Americans, the propaganda of our government only God, ever talks deep. about our government being the best government. We don't really talk about any other government doing well. Well, I mean, I was trying to just think, don't talk about them. Yeah, yeah, we just don't talk about them at all. I we, was trying we to think of, talk other governments. And talk great about our government, and if another government's doing well, then At good best, for them. Well, That's not news in America. I, I would say uh, <laughs> the only other government we give like uh, credence cr- credence to is the British, and maybe yeah. the Canadians sometimes. Uh, barely. Like we'll mention their like we'll we'll like mention their prime minister, but like they have like a whole like I've watched the Canadian Senate and it's fucking hilarious. But I'm just but, trying like, to we'll, think we'll mention like their prime minister doing shit. The fucking but, like, UK Senate is a goddamn like, joke. But we keep up. Like I, I would say America. Maybe not on a whole, like not around here, but I would say the important people of America probably keep up with like British shit. I'm trying For to think in my degree, head yeah. who is the best, like, because I asked what's the best democracy on the planet, and then immediately, like, your head, you're, you're immediate because of the propaganda, you're like America. But, like, you know that's not true. We're the richest. Yeah, of course. We're and just then, the richest so democracy. My, the second on the thought planet. is, like, well, which one is the best autocracy? And I then have no idea. Democracy. Yeah, we, and it's like you have no idea because like America would never tell you that. Well, not only would I have to, you know, get the I news get on everyone s- else's governments, but I'd have to figure out the nuances of each individual one ah. to see which ones are actually any Do more or less corrupt. Do I have to take corrupt. their history into account, or can it be like right now? It, right now, it has yeah. to be like a, a living. If I had to give autocrat. somebody gun to my head right now, if I had just to live somewhere autocratic, ah. Uh, It's okay. I guess Vietnam because I don't know if Cuba's autocratic. Is Cuba autocratic? I'd maybe Cuba, live in Cuba. Cuba's a communist nation, yeah. famously. Yeah, but I don't know if they're autocratic. Communism can have democracies. Communism is just an economic plan. Okay. Yes, they can have elections and the like. But um, for instance, I'm and I'm not saying, saying no. it's not corrupt or it's not whatever, whatever, and whatever. Well, I hear Cuba's but not a terrible China place has to live, legitimate honestly. elections for what it's worth. I sure. mean, I, I don't even think that China's a terrible place to live. Like all things considered, no, that's not what I'm saying. Let's not get lost in the weeds. I'm just pointing out that you know I don't know if Cuba is a democracy or an autocracy. I actually hear Cuba's kind of nice to live in. That's so, what I'm saying. Like, regardless, I, I, I've heard that they're nice, but for the sake of the question, I don't know. Yeah, because we're Americans. Like we would never know if it was nice to live in Cuba. Yeah, like, same within mm-hmm. Russia. We would never. If it was nice to live in Russia, we would never fucking. I, hear I it. have heard it's nice in have Vietnam. You, actually, have you ever talked to anybody who's been to Russia? Yeah, several. I, I'm from a. I'm, my I parents a, are in a religion where half of the people in that religion are Russian. I knew an evangelist who straight up lived in Russia for years. My friend who visited Russia briefly when he was visiting a bunch of other countries over there, like he was kind of going around. He visited like India and Pakistan. He ended up visiting Russia uh, while he was over there. And he said, after being to like India and all these other places, said, <laughs> I remember the main note he came away with from India. He was like, people don't so much hit the brakes as much as they just have constant fender benders in the streets over mm, there. It's true. And he was just like, when I got to Russia, he looked around, he was just like, this looks normal. 
Yeah. Like, this looks like... I'm sure it does. America. They's like, the, the closest thing I could compare it to from everything else I had seen since well, I'd been there and, was and, America. Well, it was that a goes modern back, country. And I don't remember if I said this last podcast or this podcast, but... Um, power lines, houses, businesses. That goes right normal. back to what I'm saying, where, like, I think American culture is going to be the winner. It's just going to be the ubiquitous earth culture eventually. That's why you see McDonald's in Russia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think capitalism I, will be the ubiquitous winner eventually. Whether or not we're still the head of it when it yeah, whether finishes or not, coming however, out on top, we'll see. Yeah, money at the end of the day will be what wins. Oh, we will be. I mean, be whether you believe we're there thing. yet or not, we I uh, 110% believe the cyberpunk artists had it right and we will be in that future. Oh yeah, the only the only trick is uh each individual thing that they predict doesn't happen at the same time. Right. Like, My you know, we get the uh, sex robots at one point, you know, we get the, like, knife implants in our arms at a different point. But they all do <laughs> still happen. Eventually. My mother's you know. best friend, like, travels the world very regularly. She never stays in the United States. She's from Memphis, but she never stays <laughs> in the United States. She said the best place she's ever been to that wasn't America was Russia, and the worst place she's ever been to was Egypt. And she has been to most of the countries in the world. I was actually about to ask if she had visited the OG Memphis. Yeah, OG Memphis. Yeah. yeah. She said Egypt is hellish. It is uh, It is a the non- The thing I've heard that's bad about Egypt is that uh, tourists make it suck. Well, the locals make it suck for the tourists because they never fucking leave you alone. If you were white in Egypt, you never hear the end of it. Hmm. Like, it's just a constant barrage by people assuming you are, have so much money. And then a constant barrage yeah. of people who don't want you there. Is this from like, her perspective, in which she has the money to travel the world? Uh, she travels the world as a teacher, so she doesn't really have oh, okay. money. All right, all right, all she right. gets all to all these places she gets there at by teaching English. I think that there's a multitude of factors there that make sense, though, where, like, one, the Egyptians are fucking, and probably have been for over a thousand years now, annoyed as shit. With all the fucking tourists. <laughs> yeah. You know, like... They got rid of the Jews that one time, and, and they're trying to come back, and they are not having it, Different dude. cultures and, like, generations and, like, completely <laughs> different, so like, tribes and races uh, of humans have taken over Egypt over the years. And I can tell you, at the end of the day, there is one thing that is true about every single one of them. They're all fucking tired of people coming from places other than Egypt to see Egypt. Are the Jewish people today... Um, and also, I think Still their government's like, kind of uh, unstable. Uh, yes. Con yeah, connected to the ancient... No, wait, did I say Jewish people? Did you, if you're yes. about to say the Damn thing it. about no, the I Egyptian... Meant Egyptian... I meant the Egyptian people. Uh, oh. I got Jews on the brain, excuse me. Um, it's typical, because the Exodus do the, thing Do the Egyptian Egypt people still have, like, are they connected... Uh, to the ancient Egyptians? Yes. Are they more like... It took you a lot are they of more like to say that. Greek... Or no, they just they're not really even, like, for instance, Italians are not anything connected to Romans. Actually, no, they're mostly Arab yeah, nowadays. They're, they're they're most they're not really most of the I'm Egyptians. Sure the old some. Egyptians were like African tribes. Yeah, I mean they weren't like what you would consider like uh, we know, was South, kangs and shit. Will they're not you like so what, 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 what you're saying they're is not, they displaced them. It's yes, worth exactly. noting that you know when we say African, we're not talking about like straight up black people. We're talking about much much like. I mean, wider demographics, much, much closer to black people than what you're probably thinking from all those 1950s movies with straight up fucking white people in Egyptian clothes. Not that, but also not like black, black people. Now, you might have seen some black people, but those were like Nubians and the like, because uh, you can see it in their art. They're like, no, we have darker skinned people. We are aware of them. We can also draw ourselves. Yeah. Next to a darker skinned person. <laughs> But we're also not Europeans either. They were something kind of different. They were they look, a. They looked like Middle Eastern people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they were like Middle They were kind people. of Middle Eastern, but they're a tribe that really doesn't exist anymore. Oh, okay. Do you like, think that the guy who I runs mean, Egypt will ever go on television in the future, and then somebody will be like, "Sir, how do you respond to the recent allegations?" He'll just look at the camera and say, "I have hardened my heart." <laughs> Basically, the the true answer to your question is what that is that a reference to the Bible? Oh, okay. The, e <laughs> the <laughs> fucking shit. I'm sorry. That's like 71 fucking books. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Every the God hardened Pharaoh's heart. I don't, I don't, remember, I don't like, remember every fucking word. I'm that's sure. why he tried. That's why he was like uh, when he killed his son. When God the killed God his son, so loved the world. Harden your heart. Yeah, <laughs> he gave the Egyptian Pharaoh's son <laughs> a yeah, hard right. heart. A hard heart. That's right. Dude. <laughs> that's how it went. That's my favorite book. That's my favorite part of yeah, that. He, he made him eat a lot of bacon as harder he's got hardened. <laughs> 
<laughs> but um, and that's why you can't eat pork, kids. Oh, did you, <laughs> get, <laughs> did you guys see that uh, um, Biden said he's going to start airdropping uh, food and stuff? Into, they already did. They did it yesterday. They tested it. No, they did. I oh, watched they, they it did live. It, did it? Yeah, oh, they good, did. Good. Where are they dropping food? They dro- on uh, Gaza. They're dropping on humi- Gaza. Humanitarian aid. They dropped oh. 300,000 meals into Gaza. Who's dropping meals in the Gaza? Uh, the, United, the Air Force. The United States. Ah, Us, yeah. how very nice. Uh, we didn't we technically spent $3, do it. We spent $3,000 on food and $3.5 million on the last set of fucking bombs we sold the Israelis to fucking blow up blow their up fucking everyone. soup shacks. Technically, we at didn't. At least we're giving them uh, fucking food. What a token food. fucking At least gesture. we're giving them food. Hey, God damn, at hey, least we're giving them something. Let's be yeah, fair. So I can stay alive long enough to explode. <laughs> Let's be fair, it's Will. Better than God what they're getting knows from the a dry Israeli. corpse doesn't hey, pop the same. It's better you know? than what they're getting from the Israelis than nothing. Yeah, they're getting the bombs we're selling the Israelis. I'm not saying that we're not <laughs> doing it. I'm not saying that Joe Biden isn't perpetuating genocide. I'm just saying at least we're giving them food. Also, Will, the Air Force didn't do it. It's a token gesture it. if no. you're Jordan. The, the country of Jordan. Well, we did it. If I'm selling the guy. No, but I've been hearing you. that Joe Biden said that the Air Force is Yeah, do we it. gave Jordan the food. And then because we didn't want to put our own Air Force over <laughs> we there. We made Jordan do we it. We made Jordan Will, do it. <laughs> Will, <laughs> Will, let me ask you this. If I give you $5 uh-huh. while at the same time uh, giving full magazines to the man holding you up and taking all of your money, do you feel like I've done a good deed? Or does it feel like I just gave you that $5 to make myself feel a little bit better while I'm watching I you would fucking say that- die? I would say that like <laughs> if Patrick was looking at you and he saw a very complicated geopolitical situation that you had to navigate on top of it, then maybe <laughs> I'd call it I'd call what Eric did big pimpin'. That would be that's that's exactly what big Look, pimpin super is. Here, fucking here's the thing like, you gotta take into account. It is a complicated geopolitical situation, one in which can quickly turn into a wide regional war. I think it's completely performative. The idea that we're dropping food in the Gaza Strip, that is absolutely meaningless if we do not uh, stop supporting Israel. You can't support Israel and send I think food Joe Biden's into trying to work for a ceasefire. He just has to do it in small steps. Israel uh, announced that they were going to do it. Israel suggested a ceasefire yesterday. How is taking steps to gain support? The step pointless? that we should be taking is I'm going to be completely honest here. If we're actually going to participate in this at all, we would have to go to war with Israel. No, I don't think that's at all. I if think I think we can, we can do pressure them yes. enough. Otherwise, you're just shit, you're just pissing into the wind, man. Like you're doing nothing, and anything you say or do is performative. Really, I think like, your you argument should either here, get Eric, the fuck that. out of the argument and stop bothering with them altogether, or go I in with a fucking gun do and tell people that. what to I do. I do think we should just kind of fuck off. I think Eric's argument aid. shit or get off the pot. Don't no, I, I do think I do think America helping. should absolutely be like number one humanitarian aid and you fucking can't help both sides you can't i don't disagree i don't disagree i think eric's biggest concern is that he thinks that it's a waste of resources effectively if you're just going to waste resources then Uh, do something i don't think helping people not starve if i donate waste of resources if i donate to fucking uh orphanages and my job is to burn down orphanages and i use my pay for burning down orphanages to save one orphanage for every 10 that I burned down. Wouldn't it be better if I just fucked off? <laughs> he thinks that the uh, he thinks that the people that you're feeding effectively are just going to end up dying anyway. You're feeding them to the bomb them. status quo. I've said I want change. It's pointless. D- like don't feed them. Stop bombing them. No, do feed them. Oh, by the way, I got well, that. Uh, they would could feed but themselves also, but if also, they were allowed, you know, but to also travel stop 100 bombing feet them. without both, getting shot. Both both feed them and stop bombing if them. If they could perhaps. go farm in their fucking fields without, like, you know, falling into another bomb crater, then, you know, maybe they wouldn't need food. I don't disagree. Don't yell at me. Speaking of change, by the I'm way, saying, Will, I got food that. Um, is pointless. I got they don't that, need like, food. Thing for the they 3D need to printer. stop being killed. <laughs> you got the what? I got that thing for the 3D printer that you wanted, those designs. Oh, good. Yeah, I got those. Oh. We can make Man, a, his bad dragon budget's about to go way it down. It won't come up on, <laughs> on metal detectors, right? No, it won't. It's uh, it's complete. It should be completely made of plastic. You should be able to get it into the courtroom. Uh, one shot or multi? Uh, multi, but <clears throat> only trust the first one. You never know when they're gonna break down. Yeah, yeah. The plastic or the um, yeah, PLA it, can get weak. The Maybe pressure, I mean, I've got PLA let's plus. Let's not let's not talk about the specifics here. Uh, but I mean, I think you should be able to take him out. What kind of shape am I using? Uh, it's, it's shaped kind of like, it's, it's, it's for, it's for your hand. It's about this big. You should be able to cover your <laughs> about dick with ha- it. Like, it's concealable. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, well. Are we talking like taxi driver? 
No, it's a little bit smaller than that. Oh, okay. So the way a little You should be able to make it look like you're just adjusting yourself, like it's oh, stuck to oh, your thigh, good. Yeah. and you should be able to get I'll it. I'll catch out. him in the bathroom. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it'll just be You're gonna wanna be you're gonna wanna be within like five feet or so. Yeah, you want a guarantee on this. Yeah. Like it's not, you know. It's <clears> it's <throat> not it's not guaranteed to happen if you're standing at the witness we'll have stand. To shake it? No, no, it's got it's got like a rail on the back of it. Yeah, you're you're basically go like you're pulling it out. Like, you know, like reach yeah, in yeah, and then str- like that'll be you. <clears throat> will it have a magazine or like will it have like is it like a strip thing? Uh it would be a rotary uh right. for the size. <laughs> that way you can um <laughs> That way it feeds sideways oh, and wheel, around. Wheel based. I <laughs> got you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like a rotary magazine. Uh, um, that way you don't have to worry about uh, you know, length issues or anything like that. Would you rather that. I just get you the thing that they uh, that they use for the Japanese prime minister? <laughs> you know what they've tried to rebuild that gun? It does not work. <laughs> yeah, because it barely fucking worked the first time. You've, you've never, seen, basically a, you've never a, seen a redneck slam fire shotgun? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen I've seen them built on YouTube. I have. They yes, just put I've, pipes seen, together I've seen people with just, just pipes. Yeah, yeah, and then you can make a shotgun that But no, way. he did not do that. Uh, he, he did something... He made a slightly more advanced one. Yeah, I, I would almost call it less advanced. <laughs> it's two PVC well, it pipes on top of a plank with tape on it. Doesn't it have a trigger, though? Yeah. I feel uh, like I saw it, it does. have a trigger. It does have a trigger. Yes, Slam it does. firing means like, you're literally you can do, pulling it, you does, it together. Does this. You're pushing it down, yeah. Like, he did this. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're going to be doing in court later. Right. Just, just, right like, just like that. Just like this. Yeah, just like that. This, I thought you said it was going to be one-handed. I mean, like it—it's really one hand. It's one-handed if you're close enough, but if you're not oh, close oh, enough, it's you're gonna foldable. Need, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted it to be compact so that you could hide it better. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I made it a little bit curved too, so that you can like tuck it. Yeah, that way it won't look in, it'll look inconspicuous that way. Yeah. Well, I'll just let it hang from the left. Th- that's typical of you, but yes, I understand. Mm-hmm. No one uh, should question that. I didn't make it too big because I know like what you're working with. <laughs> so I, I didn't want it to yeah. like stand out. I didn't want you know th- there's gonna be people there you that know, are familiar. That's why you made it foldable. You, you don't I go to high school and say I just made you, you know I mean and I assume you left the the, the plastic foreskin on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean there's, there's a, pr- pr- there's to a big it. thick part at the from front. The, I mean it's gonna yeah. be yeah. humid. There's, so there's I, a safety I imagine cap. you would protect yeah, that'll, it from the that'll keep the uh that'll keep the parts at the tip uh safe and clean. Yeah, and, there's a safety uh, cap you're gonna have to take off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining trying to work this contraption like a urinal. It just looks like you're just going at yourself, whipping everything around, pulling in there. You're like wrist deep in your fly. <laughs> Somebody goes over to you like, what the fuck are you doing? Go to- away! <laughs> He's oh, Jesus, why didn't you just use a stall? <laughs> oh my God. You just pull out this like shitty, like <laughs> terrible plastic. looking plastic fire arm. Like- with the guy doesn't even recognize it as a gun. He's just like, what the fuck? Is that a plastic dick? Why are you holding a box out? <laughs> yeah. Why are you holding why were you wearing a dildo in your pants? <laughs> Is that why I'm penis pumped like why'd in that Austin it? Powers movie? And okay. Out of all the dildos, why'd you choose the small one? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just pull that out of your ass? <laughs> oh, he says he said it's a politician, so he goes, Oh bro, me too. <laughs> <laughs> like pulls his out. <laughs> oh Lo and behold, God. it's actually he, he pulls the head off the dildo down, and it's like a concealed twenty-two, and he shoots <laughs> you in the neck. <laughs> thought it's I like didn't a know bad what, dragon dildo. Thought I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes, a, concealed dildo joke. gun. That's a dumb joke, but I'm glad that it made me laugh. I have sort of heard of someone using a dildo as a silencer, but uh, Eric used it. I don't know if I should say this. Uh, up Eric. Patrick, <laughs> Patrick, Patrick, bleep that out. Uh, uh, Eric, that I'm very well acquainted Patrick, with. Patrick, put a uh, <clears throat> Eastern Orthodox priest on screen as a reference. Yeah, yeah. Put up a put up a picture of the guy that you're talking about. Uh, but like, <laughs> but blur out is uh, blur out the parts that are important. Anyways, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. So, uh, Eric, I know very well, mm-hmm. used to shoot guns in our backyard in the middle of the city. And mm-hmm. the way he got away with that was he would cut a tennis ball and then cut an X into a tennis ball and then put it on the front of the shotgun or whatever and mm-hmm. then shoot it. And then it would work as a silencer once. And mm-hmm. when I was like eight, he taught me how to do that. 
and basically just gave me training on how to make silencers out of a tennis ball if I ever if I ever needed to do it. And then basically told me how it would affect the velocity of the bullet. You want to describe in detail how you do that for the audience? Yeah, you take a tennis ball and uh, you cut... <laughs> you have to, like, personally put your penis in it to make sure? Well, for me, that's the best way yes. To for you, I don't think so. Uh, oh, okay. and I think, yeah, it really, it really depends. You have a soft, I mean, if sensitive you, penis. I mean, if you've got, like, uh, I mean, if you're <laughs> using, like, a... Uh, if you're using a 12-gauge shotgun, you should probably use, like, Patrick. If you're using, like, a... <laughs> If you're using like a Luger, yours would be good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it really, <laughs> you're really <laughs> Everybody's got a certain size. Patrick, 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 please put like up a, a picture of a Luger for uh, <laughs> for reference here. I mean, so yo, that it's nine mil. The non World War II buffs don't understand. You know. so if you're using a 1911, you want to use Eric. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I mine it's has weird. that thick sheath over the whole thing. <laughs> that you can slide back, and it also comes apart if you press that button on the front of it. Uh-huh. Yeah, just the whole th- top comes off. Very reliable. Yeah. Two you know. world wars. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. It's weird Some to say it's a little Eric old fashioned, that, but uh, I, I think it still gets the job done. Why did Eric teach me how to use silencers out of tennis balls or to make silence? Uh, Fuck it. Either I, I would Patrick say. Patrick, bleep that again. Why did Eric, <laughs> acquainted <laughs> with, teach me how to make silencers out of tennis balls? I would say they're either uh, that like uh, classic military paranoia. paranoia or uh, he just thought it was good advice for uh, de-squirreling your backyard in the city limits. I'm going Maybe. with paranoia. I'm going to go with paranoia. He also taught me how to make a uh, a silencer out of a uh, probably fla- watch mag light flashlight. Mm. Doom's, that's, he probably that's probably watched... a little bit more usable if you uh, mechanic it for a bit. Did he watch Doomsday Preppers? I think Eric lived Doomsday Preppers. I don't know if he. I don't. I don't know if the Eric very acquainted. Yeah, I feel like did. by he, the time he literally told me about his Doomsday Prep uh, car, did he? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh my god. That, uh, that, that Eric SUV that acquainted drives. with is so embarrassing sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to have to be really careful when you're editing this to go through and bleep all the different references Hey, there. editor Patrick, Patrick, this is just your voice reminder to go back, go, go back go a few back, minutes. Take a look. <laughs> replace all of that stuff that I said. Just replace it with this. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, son one. of a bitch. That's funny. I, I, I know both the Eric uh, pretending this is and Eric. Just in case he, gets, he he tells you later not to. Yogi Bear. Yes. Okay. Uh, Jeff the Killer. There we go. That That's a good one. Mm. That's a good Jeffrey guy. Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> this person I'm very closely associated with who taught me how to use silencers. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. He said 12 gauge works particularly good, particularly good on the 12 year olds. <laughs> when you're trying to, you know, take out the trash, you know. This has been a very strange 12 year old, recording session. You know, this is the messes third episode. that yeah, you have yeah. to get rid of in your backyard. Are we that yeah. type? Of, are we that group of podcast guys who like wants to kill like, children? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. I, I hope not. Yeah, are we no. one of those, Eric? I hope not. I okay, hope thank not. you. Um, are, are we? It's the all type? up to you, Eric. Yeah, it's all up to you because <laughs> if it's left to me and Will, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Our moral I, cops. I always <laughs> knew I was the heart, the moral center of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Will's a communist, and I'm obviously a fascist after today's episode. So it's funny because you guys always call me a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> did, did that start in the comments? Did they call me a Nazi? Or did I that? Don't that, that, that was that was that's been us. Yeah, that was okay. that was me and that was me and Will because you had that one guy you bought you weed from the that had swastika. Yeah. yeah, you had the drug dealer guy. Yeah, the the Nazi weed dealer. Are we guy, like yeah. are we like the podcast group that like when we record really late into the night, our discussions get really stupid? Probably. Could, yeah, could I would we say do so. like a really late recording one of these nights? Nice, because I just want to see how <laughs> dumb the conversations I would have to, get. Uh, the, let's, Can I, let's keep that open well, for po- possibly next Monday. Yeah. Though again, I am. Not but, like not like on a Monday. I mean, we'll like, because I have Saturday. to work. Yeah, yeah, find a Saturday to where it's like, can we just record it like midnight? We might have to see how it goes. Some of our schedule in the foreseeable future. Yeah, because you're gonna have to get a new job. Yeah, because I might finally have some new job prospects yeah. around the corner, and we're gonna have to work around that schedule. Well, I mean, if you work at a vet, though, then you'll be working nine to five. It should be yeah. fine. Yeah, I mean, chances are we'll be able to work something in that won't change the schedule too much. But yeah, but I've thought about that too. I, I was worried about that. Yeah. If Hopefully. you're listening to this, listener, go a few episodes in the future and see if Eric got a fucking job. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, things are good. 
Leave yep. it in the comments. It'll have been long enough by the time these come out that I will have either gotten it or definitely knew that I didn't. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah. And it'll have been long enough. Thoughts and prayers in the comments. And this- it'll have been long enough by the time you hear this that it'll be a serious issue if I still don't have a job yet. <laughs> <laughs> this episode comes out on the 25th of March. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be an issue by then. I, I quit on the 1st <laughs> of February. Okay. So that that will be definitely an issue by then. Well, thank you for listening to the Anything Cap... Anything, Captain? (laughs) Shut up! Fuck! (laughs) Why do we have to record so late? Why am I so tired? (laughs) You looked at... uh, Porn? Welfare? Uh, uh, he quit. No, he didn't I, get fired. I, I'm uh, married. Well, no, you can. St- there's some benefits. Oh to yeah, yeah. You're it. married. That's I'm true. also married, and she has an income. Ah, so uh, we're not incomeless, dude. I, I got. It's Mississippi. Maybe you can be like. There might be something I could fuck with with unemployment, but unemployment will take me three months to get my first payment. Legitimately, mm. I got unemployment when Kira had a job, and when I lost my job, and I got unemployment, and I got money next week. So it was it's it was totally worth it because I made like exactly what I made at my job too. That's retarded. I know you're telling me I I immediately my thought process was I understand why people do this and abuse the system. I am I mean, making as much during, money as I did. It was great during COVID because I you know I'd been working in movie theaters so I was super unessential and you know they paid me to stay home. Yeah. Now, to be fair, I was also not irresponsible with that money. I bought a new water heater and a roof. Anyways, this has been Anything <laughs> Cast. I'm Patrick. I'm Jeffrey Epstein.